player has selected a couple of tunes that are marvelous singers' tunes. If you look at your program, you'll find that the uh, lyricist for Over the Rainbow was Yip Harburg, one of the best. Peggy Memphis Jones, Larry Hart, one of the best. Uh, another one that comes to my mind in terms of being a quintessential lyricist was Johnny Mercer. So these guys frequently didn't get the attention that the uh, composers did. But this fellow had an illustrious career with Johnny Mathis. So he understands singers better than most of us. Jim Barnett. you know why you could get around on any keyboard. They're all, it's a pleasure. I'm going to invite the guys up in a minute, but I wanted to do something, no offense, without the guys, just once. One of my favorite uh, uh, piano players growing up was Bill Evans, and uh, he did a lot of great stuff with rhythm section. His left to right album with the old Fender Rhodes and Steinway was interesting. But he did a series of uh, albums, conversations with myself, and then further conversation with myself. The original was three pianos recorded against, you know, overdub. And then finally the Alone album really uh, struck me. So sometimes I like to do stuff by myself and sometimes I like to do it with friends. And, uh, you know, I uh, hear <laughs> some of these younger kids the, uh, tonight, I feel like kind of old, but you know, I'm still a kid because I still like to play. <laughs> so uh, when I was a kid, my dad brought home a lot of big band albums. He was a piano tuner and a saxophone player. He brought home Lush Brown, Stan Kenton, and one album he brought home was uh, The Wizard of Oz and other Harold Arlen songs by Shorty Rogers. And one of the piano players that wasn't on my list that I wrote uh, was on this album. His name was Pete Jolly. And uh, some of you might remember Pete. Um, but Pete sat down at the session and uh, he was fooling around with Over the Rainbow and Shorty said, Oh yeah, so he wrote the whole arrangement around what Pete did. So I'm going to not play exactly the way Pete did, but I'm going to start it the way he did. So.
know, you hear that song on American Idol and all kinds of stuff. You go, doing that song again? They go, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, really love that song. Cause have the guys come up and join me on Have You Met Miss Jones? And I think I'm going to pick a few more than a couple. Speak for me. Okay. There we go. One, two, one, two, three, four.
The reason I asked the question about favorite key is because those of you who have listened to Marion McPartland over the years know that she makes a great point about loving to play in the key of A. Most jazzers don't play in the guitar keys, and anybody that's worked for singers know that they, if they do stuff in E and D and B, they've been working with a guitar player, they say, can we take it up a half step? Gee, I don't know the words in that key. Arthur Kelly and Fred Mitchell made a great duo album not long ago, and apparently among the jazz guys, if you had certain proclivities and addictions, it was called your Jones. I wasn't aware of that. But anyhow, their version of the tune they called it, Do You Miss Your Jones? <laughs> so we're going to get all the players up here at the end, so please stick around. But I want to introduce a good friend of mine, Bob Harvey. Uh,